Hello all. In this video, uh, we will see uh, how to enable, uh, how to publish uh, specific changes uh, to a, a particular job role using Page Composer. So for that, we should go to um, sandboxes and we should activate a sandbox uh, with, uh, with Page Composer tool. So create a sandbox. and activate a page composer and um, so in in while creating a sandbox so we for uh, for sand page composer we will get the context uh, supported context so here uh, the default value will be site it means it, it will apply for all the users and specifically we can choose role so whether it can be um, if we are using hcm roles so we can select uh, hcm but uh, in our case uh, we we are going to use crm uh, parts customer relationship management so here uh, if we want to do a particular uh, uh, the changes for a particular job role so we can select that job role Suppose uh, if you want to select a uh, sales representative. So if you want to uh, if you want to do some changes only for the page composer, so we can um, so we can we can give that and then uh, we can select that role. And we need to note that um, so if, in case uh, if this in the list of roles, so your role is not appeared. So add that particular role to this uh, administrat administrator uh, admin user and then check. Uh, also, this uh, supported context or choosing job role will be available only on the creation of uh, sandbox. So once we create, this will be disabled and we can't change anymore. And uh, and it it will also not support uh, other tools. So if we choose uh, if we choose a specific uh, role, okay. So now, mm, so the the support like using Page Composer, we can uh, we can we can hide some field in Page Composer or uh, anywhere, right? So every changes, whatever changes we do in this uh, page composer will be applied uh, to this particular role only, sales rep. So in this example, uh, so I'll show uh, creating a saved search for a specific job role. So in simplified UIs, so we can only create saved searches and we can make it available uh, uh, for site level or uh, um, job role. So using Page Composer. So for that, just activate Page Composer. And so I'm, I'm going to create a, a saved search for business plan object. So click on advanced filter and uh, and add the necessary filter. Okay. So I wanted to see on, uh, the draft um, draft business plans. Uh, and then I'll save this particular filter. So you, we, we can add any uh, number of filters here. And then once you add all the filters, just click on save. and give the name. I'll give it as all draft business plans. So if you want to make it default for this particular uh, role, we can check this one checkbox. And uh, if you want to uh, apply this search uh, on just selecting this saved search, if you want to run the uh, search results automatically, Click this one. Uh, 
and click OK. So now the saved search is created. Now, if we cancel this and if we check in uh, advanced searches, so we can see all the draft uh, plans. So if we select only the draft plans will be visible. Okay. So now, uh, how do we test these changes? So to test the changes, so we need to activate this sandbox to the uh, end user. That means the sales rep user. So how we can activate a, a sandbox uh, from an admin user uh, to a non-admin user to test the same changes. So go to setup and maintenance. And click global search. Manage admin profile options. Search for FND user, user sandbox, uh, FND user sandbox. And here uh, we can see the active sandboxes. So click on uh, plus and select user level and uh, give the username uh, that we wanted to test uh, this changes. So currently uh, in this user, we have a, a sandbox activated and we wanted to test this, this, this sandbox changes. So copy this value. This is the, uh, admin. so where I have, uh, where I am doing the changes, copy this sandbox value and give it in, give it to the user. So once you provide these change, uh, these values, Click save and save and close. So now uh, go to the sand, uh, sales rep user. and login. Now in this user, we can notice uh, a <clears throat> yellow bar is appeared uh, on the top. So this means there is a sandbox activated for this user. So if we if we don't activate this, uh, then this yellow bar will be uh, uh, will be disappeared. Now, so uh, we have done our changes in a business plan object, and we are now going to the business plan object to verify the changes. Now we can see default search is applied as uh, all draft plans. So this change we haven't published it yet but since we activated the sandbox here so we can see the changes and uh, and uh, since there are no records for this user so it is not showing any record let's just create one save it search and we'll see the result So I'm making it as a draft so that this particular record should be appeared in uh, in our saved search. Now we can see this particular business plan is uh, appeared. And if you click on all business plans, 
uh, I still can see only one record because there are no, uh, we don't have any access to the other records. But if I create with, uh, um, if I create another record, then I should be able to uh, see those active and draft records in all business plans. So I'll copy. So I'll make it this approved final. Now in the all business plans, we can see two records, but in our draft uh, uh, business plan, save it search. So we can see only uh, this record. And this save it search is specifically for this uh, role, who, whoever is having sales rep role, but not for other roles. And if we publish these changes, so the, uh, for all the other users also, uh, the, these changes will be applicable.